Hello, and welcome to my video where I will be showing you how to open a previously created order within the Windows Sample Flight application that comes with HP's Quick Test Professional or QTP. Now, on the main screen within the Flight Reservation application, there's two different ways that you can actually get to be able to open an order. Uh, the first is on the menu bar, and you would click on the File button. Then you would click the Open Order button. Or the second way that you could get to that same window is on the button bar near the top of the window. There's a button that looks like a manila file folder with an arrow on top. You could click that button as well, and that would take you to the same place. So for now, we will click File on the menu bar, and then the Open Order button. After doing that, you'll see a window pop up um, that will have a title of Open Order. In the top right corner of the window, you will see some window controls. The first will be to minimize the window. The second will be to maximize the window. And the third will be to close the window. Uh, down beneath that, you'll see an image. On the left-hand side of the window, you'll see a search pane. You'll notice that there's three different ways that you can search for a customer order. First is by customer name. Second is by flight date. And third is by order number. At the bottom of the window, you'll notice two buttons. The first is the OK button. And the second is the Cancel button. Now, for, for a moment, let's look back up to the window controls in the top right corner. Again, as I had previously mentioned, there are the Minimize buttons, the Maximize button, and the Close button. Let's first click the Minimize button. When you do that, you'll notice that it will send the application down to the bottom left corner of your window in a minimized state. Let's click the first window control on the left that says Restore Up. That brings it back to the way it was previously. The second window control is to maximize this window. So let's click that now. If you'll see it maximizes the window. Now let's move up to the top right corner and let's click the middle window control, which is to restore down. That will take the window back to the way it previously was. The third control is to close the window. So let's go ahead and click that now to validate that functionality. It actually closes the window. Now, let's open the, the search order window back open again. You can do that by clicking the File button and then the Open Order button. Now, down at the bottom of the window, there are two buttons, the OK button and the Cancel button. If you click the Cancel button, it will actually close out the window. So let's go ahead and do that now. As you can see, it closed the window. So let's open the Open Order window back up again. We'll do that by clicking File on the menu bar and then the Open Order button. Now, inside the search pane, as I would previously mentioned, there's three ways to search for customer orders. The first, again, is customer name. Second is flight date. Third is order number. Beside each of those options, there's a checkbox. Let's now begin by clicking the checkbox next to customer name. If you'll notice, once you do that, the order number uh, checkbox now becomes disabled. So if you try to click it, nothing will happen. Now, if you go back up and uncheck the customer name checkbox, you'll notice that the order number checkbox is now re-enabled re to where you could click on it. Uh, now, the next checkbox down is Flight Date. Go ahead and check that. Again, as before with the Customer Name checkbox, you'll notice that the Order Number checkbox has now become disabled. Click to uncheck the Flight Date checkbox. You'll notice that the Order Number checkbox now becomes re-enabled. Now, click to check the checkbox next to Order Number. When you do that, you'll notice that the checkbox is for both customer name 
and flight data are now disabled. Now click to uncheck the checkbox next to order number. You'll notice now all three checkboxes are enabled and ready to be clicked again. Now we'll begin uh, searching for customer orders by first searching by customer name. So to do this, click the checkbox next to customer name. Now before you enter anything into the input, you'll notice at the bottom of the window, the OK button is disabled. It will remain disabled until you enter the first character into the customer name input box. So let's go ahead and enter any letter into the customer name input box and l let's watch this happen. Now you'll notice as soon as I type the letter J, the OK button became enabled. If I hit the backspace key to delete the letter J, you'll see that the OK button is now disabled again. So it will only become enabled once there is a character in the input box for uh, a customer name. So I'll go ahead and type in John Doe, which is the name of a customer that I've previously placed an order for. Now I'll go ahead and click the OK button so that we can search to pull back previously created orders for this customer. Once I do that, we'll be presented with the search results window. And you'll notice in the middle of the window, it will show previously created orders that have a customer name equal to John Doe. At the bottom of the window, you'll notice that there's two buttons. The first is OK, and the second is Cancel. If we click the Cancel button, you'll notice that it will close out the search results window and take you back to the previous window. Now let's go ahead and click the OK button again here in the open order window to research for customer orders with the name of John Doe. Now at this point you can click on any of the orders that are here in the, in the order section. I'll just leave it defaulted on the first record. Click the OK button once you've found the order that you would like to open. Now if you'll notice, those additional windows will close and it will now load the customer's order information into the main window. Now let's go back and search for a customer order uh, by flight date. To do that, to open the um, open order window again, let's click on the file button in the menu bar, then the open order button. We'll now check the checkbox for the flight date option. Now, I have previously created orders with a flight date of January the 1st, 2013. But for this, you would put in whatever flight date you have previously created orders for. So to enter the information, I will enter 010113. And again, that signifies month, day, year. So that's 010113. Once you've entered the flight date, click the OK button at the bottom of the open order window and you will again be presented with a search results window like we, like we were when we searched by customer name. So again, as before, uh, click to select any order that you would like to see, then click the OK button. It will then load that order's information here in the main window. Now let's go back and search for a flight by order number. To do that, again, click the File button on the menu bar, then click the Open Order button. Check the box next to Order Number, and then enter an order number that you have previously created. One of the orders that I've previously created is Order Number 12, so I will enter 1, 2. Once you've done that, click the OK button. And instead of, send, instead of presenting you with the search results window, since it knows the exact order that it's looking to pull up, there's no need to present that to you. So it will just automatically pull up the order's information here in the main window. Now, there's another way that we can also search for a particular order. So let's go back up again to the File button on the menu bar. Click the Open Order button. Now we can search by both customer name and flight date at the same time. So uh, before we start entering information into this, after clicking the checkboxes next to both customer name and flight date, 
I again want to call out, notice how the OK button is still disabled. It will remain disabled until we have entered values successfully for both the customer name and flight date inputs. So we will now enter a value into the customer name input. So again, I will enter John Doe. And then now, let's enter some information into the flight date input. So again, as we had previously searched for a flight with using January 1st, 2013, I will again enter that information. And as a reminder, this is month, day, year. Now once you've entered both of those inputs, you'll notice that the OK button is now enabled. So click the OK button. It will again present you with a list of available options in the search results window. So after you've clicked whatever record it is that you would like to pull back, click the OK button. It will then show that order information back in the main window. So this now concludes our video where I have shown you how to open a previously completed order. Thanks and I hope that you have a great day.